Hey guys, what's up? It's Doop77 and welcome back to Be Happy With Me. Uh, picking not too far left off and this tree immediately just popped in front of me. Kind of scared me a little bit. Um, Alright, so I've done a little bit of off camera. Just uh, building out the area and letting the music play on perfect cue. Uh, I set up the jungle wood here with a cocoa bean on top. I'm actually going to break, go break this bad boy. Oh yeah. Cocoa beans. Get those planting up. That's going to be nice and good. Um, moved all the tanker stuff over here. Got a bunch of extra cobblestone and some wood mined up. And uh, did some resurfacing of the little area down here. So now it's a little more amphitheatery. I don't know. I guess it felt kind of nice going like this. A um, little bit of dabbling in regards to agricraft. And actually, I want to go ahead and make a seed analyzer soon probably this episode just to get work on that but best of all this thing's done so it's i uh, tossed in all of that uh redstone to make the mutagen it made about 900 each of those two blocks and it converted uh, i ch put them in there it converted and chose one common queen so let's take this girl out now from here Genetics number one, I have to turn in the common queen, mutagen producer, and vest mutatron. Let's go ahead and just break this guy. And this one. And then manual submit. Perfect. And now I get a fealizer, a honey drop, a diligent drone, a genetic sampler, a blank gene sample, and genetics labware. So let's go ahead and collect that now. He says here, uh, let's see. You have a common queen, put it in the apiary, and start producing combs and spare drones for you, but why? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I actually need another apiary, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Now, I need, this last quest, I need to turn in 256 cobblestone. That's going to take a while, unfortunately. Uh, that's four stacks, I believe, and I got two. So let me go ahead and just pop this uh, genetic sampler down. Put that bad boy in there. Now with the bee elizer, I can right click and toss in a bee and honey and it will scan it for me. Now I have no real clue <laughs> what exactly this is telling me other than a short light span uh, slow production speed, slow pollination speed. Uh, it prefers flowers. Looks like it has a two fertility, which is pretty good. Um, so it produces two drones. Oh, toss it on the ground there. Uh, I think if I if it were a princess, it would make two drones, which is good. Um, per. Let me go ahead and just toss a sapling down. Now I wonder if I can take my forest princess. Hmm. I think. So if I put now, what is expecting here? Uh, let's see. Notice that template. It's empty. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. It's going to convert it. Right, so we're taking a bee with lab stuff and a sample, a blank DNA sample, and we're getting, oh, short lifespan. Awesome. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. So it's word that I have to say, this mod pack is worded a little strangely, but it seems it's just showing me what's going on. Okay, so I take what's it saying? It's saying 
Okay, analyze the B. So take the B Elizer, analyze the Rocky Drone. Rocky Drone has a fertility of one. Okay. All right. Now I take the Rocky Drone and this genetic template. Fertility four. Okay. Toss that in there with some lab wear. It'll take the Rocky Drone and go through pumping uh, the stuff into it. One of 13 chromosomes. Oh, 13 different aspects you can do. Oh, starting to get it. So this is going to be applying fertility four to anything that I put in here. And unfortunately right now, running low on power, so go ahead and let that do its thing. It's getting nighttime and solar power, unfortunately, is not working too great. So let's see. Um, now I might as well delve a little bit into AgriCraft while I have a chance. I've grown this wheat. Let me go ahead and harvest that and pop that there. Now I want to get a seed analyzer. That requires a glass pane, three sticks, a st uh, stone slab, and wood slabs and stones. Sure, okay, get that, that, and there. That's that. That, there you go. I'll take three of this cobblestone. Pop it into here. And also put... Actually, I need to take all this out anyways. Here you. Stone. I could have made just regular cobblestone slabs, but eh, whatever. I like fancy stone. Alright. Stone slab. Sticks. Slab here. There's that. And then finally, last but not least, there we go. Seed analyzer. Alright. So let's put this bad boy. I'm thinking. Hmm. Right here. Let's see what kind of seed I got. I got a strength two. All right, that's not bad. Break that. There we go. And then regular seed. This is going to be a regular one one, I believe. Something like that. This is the yeah one one seed. And finally. Crop sticks, put that there. Cross crop, and let's grow them out a little bit. I just wanted to grow some. So strength is good because that's going to be be resistant to weeds. Unfortunately, weeds are a reality of this mod pack. That's going to be kind of sucky. Let's see right there. Oh look at that. I don't think that's going to be one. So I'm going to put that cross cross back down there. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a spread. So actually, what I can do instead is this. Break that. Pop that guy down there. This is the 1-2. Like that. So now I have two 1-2s, or 1-1-2s, that are going to be growing. Now this is following along... Oh, weed. It's following along the same lines as... Uh, if you guys have watched our uh, regrowth fun time on Saturdays, this is following along the same lines. And now we're taking... We're taking the crops, we're growing them out, we're making them uh, more effective, we're making them more po potent, and also produce more, which is super good. There we go. Let's do what that good thing. And ch hopefully, if I can get a nice 10 10, 10 10 10 wheat, I'll have all of my wheat needs covered. I will be sorted. Let's just toss these guys off there. I don't need those. And, oh, awesome. So take the wheat, wheat and pulverizer. It makes flour from Applied Energistics. Flour then gets tossed into a redstone furnace to bake bread. It's a super effective use of making bread. And then once the bread's all done, we can turn that into the best cheap meal that this skyblock can afford. Toast. Everyone likes toast, right? Just need butter. 
I've had buttered toast. Oh my god, that is so good right now. Uh, okay. Cocoa. Okay, bread's good. Almost. I'm getting low on power. Is this moon setting still? No, it's just after midnight. Awesome. Oh, let's see if it's spread. If it's a spread or if it's an actual. It is. Sweet. This is pretty much how <laughs> I'm going to be acting for quite some time. It's getting, uh, getting all this stuff taken care of. Let me just pop that off. I don't need that until it's done. Ah, oh, weeds. I hate you so much. Okay, now, pop that, put that, oh, keep going. Good. Oh, I got grass from that. Huh. Interesting. There you go. I'm going to take this uh, jungle tree down and see what I can get from it. Huh. Something relaxing about a sky block, you know? I know I mentioned it before, but it just, it just feels good, you know? Especially since I had kind of a meh week at work. It's just been, you know, long and tiring. I'm still getting back into the, the swing of things, you know, getting back from vacation and all that. And it's tough. It really is. I mean, if you guys go on vacation any, any length of time and you're, you know, doing any kind of work, you know, whether you're at, you know, at, at an actual office or if you're working maybe at, a, at your school or if you're doing grocery store, whatever, ha what have you, you know. If you're working and you've been used to that for three something years and then you go on vacation for about two weeks and try to come back, you're slow. I don't care who you are. I'm slow. I mean, God, I'm just, ugh. It's exhausting. Um, so, I advise you guys to take, if you guys take a vacation and you go out for a full two weeks and you go traveling for a bit, Try to keep like one of that week for travel and the rest and the other week for recovering from travel because it's going to be you're going to need it. All right, so this sawdust I can use it for more than one thing. I can actually make sponges with it. What does this do? Oh, it, it picks up and does water. That's interesting. Uh, I can make phytogrow with it, which is fertilizer. Uh, mixing saltpeter, sawdust, and sl uh, slag. And rich slag. Uh, let's see. Magnetic sl florbs. Regular florbs. Alright. And then obviously the compressed sawdust. Now compressed sawdust. Oh, sawdust can make charcoal. Nice. Extra source of charcoal. Not bad. Alright, let's see if my bread is done cooking. That's all I can get left. So I'll put this back in here. And the grass. Just pop that right there. Sun's starting to come up. Is this generating power again? It is. Slowly but surely. Oh, good. Extra sapling. Sweet. Let's have that protection. So. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let this do its thing. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. And uh, I will be right back once this thing has finished and I have my resulting B. So, I'll be right back, guys. All right, and I am back. And it looks like the uh, genetic imprinter has completed. So now, if I pull this out and take the genetic tempo along with me, and I get my Bealyzer out here, pop it bad boy in there, and it's got a fertility of four. So now... So that's how it works. We can take this genetic template and we can apply it to any kind of bee. And it looks like we can apply it to multiple kinds. So uh, what type of species of bee we're looking at, we can tell it to ignore day or night. Uh, we can see if it wants to live in a cave. Give it an extended lifespan, wide territory, humidity tolerance, flowering. Not bad, not bad. Tolerant flyer temperature tolerance, not bad. Lifespan, okay. Yeah, it's already a short, so I'm not going to leave, leave that alone. All right, so now all I need to do is just take this and break it down. And there we go. 
Let's see what it says. You analyze the bees, see if fertility changes. That's it. It's very simple. Multiple and gigantic set of up, uh, set up. Only collect samples producing your own bees. If you want to learn how to set your own bees, see a Gendistry Spotlight. Uh, all right. Not bad for a tutorial, I gotta say. Please more basic and restaurant quests to get these items again. Sweet. I get a chunk loader for that. Oh, nice. So, Bealizer, Genetic Imprinter, Rocky Drone. So, I actually turned all this stuff back in. Okay, so this is just a, a primer of it. Okay. So, if I turn all this stuff back in, I get myself a chunk loader, which is to be super not useful because I'm living here in a sky block on a single player instance. But, hey, at least I got an extra blank gene sample and a lifespan gene sample short. And, while I was waiting, got the cobblestone done. Let's turn that bad boy in. Let's be right here. Manual submit. Now, do I want powered or do I want standard? I'll go powered. So why not? Right? Alright. So, let's pop this apiary down. I got a queen already, so I'm going to put her back in. It was the... Uh, who was it? This one, Meadows Queen. Put her in there. And take this apiary here. Uh, put first flowers, flowers, flowers. Ooh, Water Queen likes lily pads. You got lily pads. All right. Let's see how that works. So Meadows Queen is working. Always on, energy required. Queen is good. Sky obstructed. Oh, okay. Let's move you over here. Uh, there we go. There. Alright, so we got our bees going up now. We have the flowers all set. We have this one. She is still producing. She's 25%. This water queen... Um, probably could do with a little extra. Put some lily pads there. I'm gonna put a lily pad right there. That'll be good. Give her some new territory to go conquest. There we go. Now she's working. Okay, so these guys are gonna grow, and they're gonna produce a bunch of combs and more bees, which I'm gonna use for honey. Let's see what the next quests are gonna be for us. Powering. Ooh. Not bad. So if I give it 32 oak wood, it gives me two solar panel fives and re eight redstone energy flux ducts. Now, I have solar panel threes, which are good, and I have hardened flux ducts, which are also good. But if I had those... Ooh. Do I have... Oh, I need a little more. Okay, grow. Grow, sapling, grow. Sapling! If you want my body, it, 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 twerking for the tree. Yeah, it, 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 twerk. Oh, look at that! Nice. It worked. <laughs> it twerked. <laughs> um... <coughs> Sorry, that was not not nice, not appropriate of me. I apologize. So I just need four more logs. If I have four more logs, then I can get that. That'd be so good. So good! I want those solar panels, you know? Yo, dog, check it. Solar panels. Yo, shizzle. Feeling street for no reason. Yeah. Beat. Feel the street. Beat the heat. Can't say nothing because I got to eat. Yeah. Let's be freestyle. I know you think that I am just so wild. Yeah, check it. My rap's so bad. And it, you don't like it, but that's okay, because you got had. Yeah. Uh, is that cringeworthy? Yeah, cringeworthy. Oh, well. So let's see. 55. And, oh. I already got a comb. And it's also nighttime, so she's going to go sleep. But that provided a comb for me already. Nice. What can I use damp comb for? 
Oh, I can use a comb to make another a bee house for forestry. A bunch of combs to make an apiar's chest. I can get watery propolis and honey drops. It's watery propolis. To <gasps> oh, you squeeze watery propolis to get half bucket of water. Oh. I don't have an infinite water source, which doesn't really matter. That's okay. It's a thought that counts, right? Alrighty. <clears throat> well, I think this is a good place for us to go ahead and pause for now. We got if we got through the Gendistry walkthrough, all on this line here. And we're now finishing up some more of these basic quests here. We got some power to get through with 32 oak, oak wood. Uh, we can cook up some stone to get to uh, some, some half, a quarter stack of wool. And it looks like we can turn in some honeycombs and damp combs to get a bunch of these upgrades, which would be super nice. So, I'm going to going to leave it here for now. And Oh, that reminds me. Last little thing. I got gravel. Yeah. Turn this gravel in because I want me an igneous extruder. Oh, and I need sand. Okay, sure, whatever. And done. And any glass. Oh. It's always something, you know? I take that. Uh, you. Come here. And in. Pop that in there. And make some glass and get that going. So that'll be good. At least we can get that taken care of. That'll, that'll ease a lot of problems. We'll have plenty of glass. I can, oh, I can make a glass bee house. Yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, so, uh, good place for us to pause for now. I want to thank you guys for joining me again on this episode of Be Happy with myself. Um, so, if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see, leave a like. And uh, always leave, also leave a comment. I like getting comments, so... Uh, I always read them. I'm, I'm very fond of what you guys have to say. Uh, especially if you saw something, saw something that I missed that you think I uh, totally should have uh, derped on. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next time.